In previous videos, we discussed causes of extinction and the large-scale efforts in place to help slow the decline of species. However, government agencies are not the only ones working to preserve environmental habitats. My name is Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari. Today you will get a glimpse into the importance of zoological facilities like Six Flags Great Adventure and learn ways that you can live a more sustainable life. Zoological facilities worldwide, including Six Flags Great Adventure, are on the forefront of animal conservation. Zoos are maintaining healthy populations of animals under human care which is proving to be a critical resource to protect wildlife from extinction. In 1981, the Species Survival Plan, or SSP, was established. It helps to ensure the survival and genetic diversity of selected species in zoos and aquariums, which are threatened and endangered in the wild. Knowledge gained through zoological veterinary medicine, animal behavior, nutrition, reproduction, disease prevention and vaccination, and education of the public are all essential in helping to preserve and protect wildlife. These professionally run facilities are oftentimes wildlife's last chance of survival before becoming extinct. We feel it is critical for zoos to maintain healthy populations of animals under human care Otherwise, we would be neglecting the dangers posed to wildlife populations. More specifically, Six Flags Great Adventure participates in a number of conservation efforts. Recently, the Six Flags Corporation has banned the use of lids and straws in all Six Flags theme parks, preventing millions of pounds of plastic from entering landfills. Did you know, in 2019, we became one of the world's first solar-powered theme parks, helping to defer our carbon footprint. Also in 2019, we partnered with the Wildlife Conservation Network, and with the help of our guests, we were able to donate to support efforts to save lions and elephants in their natural habitats. Six Flags Great Adventure also facilitates research and animal studies through partnerships with various universities. One such study includes American bison. You may find it surprising that at the turn of the previous century, many ranchers bred bison with cows, creating a mixed breed. This has made true bison even more rare and is an important factor to consider when establishing a healthy genetic diversity. In 2014, we partnered with Colorado State University for wildlife reproduction and donated some genetically pure bison to help them study this species. Those bison are now the founding members of a new conservation herd in Colorado. Now that you know what is going on both globally and locally to help conservation efforts, what can you do to help from your own home? It's as simple as living more sustainably. Reduce the use of non-renewable resources. Reuse what you can in new and inventive ways. And recycle locally. But make sure you do your research for what is recyclable in your local communities. Knowing is half the battle. Talk to your family and make sure they know why it is important to help conserve the environment. Communicate ways for your family to get involved. Use reusable water bottles. Start simple, like composting your own biodegradable materials for fertilizer. Or make sure to use safe pesticides in your own gardens. Just remember, small changes can become habit. We hope you learn the importance of animal conservation and ways that you can live more sustainably, even in your own backyard. Thanks for joining us and make it a wild day.